That's actually a good argument right there. The only inspiration Flying Train is now. awesome. In my timeline, he married one of the sweetest women of the 19th century. Sweetness. Yeah. Emmett needs discipline to stay focused. He's so easily distracted. So am I, but you don't hear people complaining about it. Okay, well, well, I take a medication for that. Concerned Forget you. I said that. Nice entrance. Very nice entrance. It worked! <laughs> nice suit. One second, I'm in the What's with the gloves? I'm six months in the past! Amazing! Six months? It took you six months to repair the time machine? Six months, my family fortune, and a sketchy deal with a gang of Libyan nationals. But it was all <laughs> worth it for this moment. Ah! Emmett, don't do this. You need help. You need oh, help, lady. Hold out your exhaust port, dear. Now that I'm a burn. Past, your pack of divorce lawyers can't. And... <gasps> Mark, how long have you been waiting for me? A couple of minutes, maybe. That's curious. I set the repair time circuits to arrive only a couple of seconds after I left. Oh well, I'm sure there's no need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration on the time circuits. Here. What's this? Clothes for our trip. We can't have you traipsing around 1931 in that ridiculous outfit. <laughs> Wait, our trip? You didn't think I was going to let you erase the worst mistake of my life without my help, did you? Oh, that was kind of cruel. Very cruel. And she's standing right there. Please. Sad face. I'm ruining you, I run this town. Who cares? Time circuit set for August 26, 1931. You ready to go, Your Honor? Call me, Doc. Yeah. Oh, thank God they didn't hit the camera. Very expensive camera we had sitting on that street. Yeah, it would have been really bad if they ran it over. Very, very bad. Anyway. This is where I last saw him. You. Teenage you. You were headed this way, arm in arm with Edna. Ugh. Luckily, my erstwhile wife was never the type to kiss on a first date. If we work fast and stay focused, we can see to it that there, I mean, um, our relationship never moves beyond the hand-holding stage. Yay. Well, will you look at that? The old town theater. Huh. Um, okay, cool, I guess. What about it? I haven't thought about this place in years. The missus made me tear it down back in 71. Said the movies were corrupting the younger generation. Bullshit. It was all nonsense, of course. I spent countless evenings here in my youth, and it never turned me into a hoodlum. Say, remember Public Enemy? Why, you dirty rat, no good yellow bellied stool? It never did manage to see Frankenstein, though. Well, we're gonna change that. But you're going to. That's what we're here for, remember? Right, of course. The film that was supposed to set off a chain reaction in my imagination, inspiring with a notion that would launch my scientific career. You've still got no memory of what that notion was? <laughs> well, how could I? It happened in the brain of a different Emmett Brown. An Emmett Brown now erased by the shifting sands of time. Poetic. Luckily for us, I do know something about my own brain, having lived in it for the past 70 plus years. Once we get my younger self re inspired by that movie, nothing will distract him from his proper. <gasps> Great Scott, will you look at that? The town square? It's just like I remember it, only dirtier. Oh, the old courthouse. Come on now, Doc, you need to go huh? inside and check it out. First rule of time travel, Doc, never allow your other self to catch sight of you. It could cause reality to collapse or something. You mean? Right behind you. Don't peek. Go on. I'll let you know when you're gone. And don't forget, you're Carl Sagan. The billions and billions guy? The suspected arsonist. Huh? Just go with it. Eh. Yeah. Uh, 
that's an interesting outfit, I must say. Sonny! You do show up at the oddest moments. Where have you been hiding? Uh, in the future. Oh, you know, here and there, you're a little hard to pin down yourself. I went looking for you last night, but... I believe I was off entertaining a beautiful lady. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know, I never really got a chance to thank you. Well, I'm sure you would have escaped Kid on your own. Kid? Oh, sure, I'm grateful for that, but no, I'm talking about Edna. It's funny to think of now, but until that crisis, I actually thought Edna and I disliked one another. <laughs> Imagine! It would have been great if it stayed that way. Really would have. Yeah, well, sometimes first impressions are right. The thing is, you shouldn't let Edna distract you from, you know, the business at hand. Finishing your project for the expo and going to see Frankenstein. Oh, shah. I'm far too busy for movies these days. But, uh... And as for my project, it's practically done. The rocket car? The rocket car? Boy, are you out of date. I've junked the rocket car. But... More trouble than it's worth. I'll never figure out a propulsion system that does what I want it to do. And besides, its social utility is practically non-existent. What? Social utility? Since when do you care about... The mental alignment meter is a much more worthy project. The what? It was Edna's idea, and she's really been cracking the whip to get me to complete it in time for the expo. Emmett, I'm a little confused here. So am I. Very what confused. day is it? Why, it's opening day! The opening day of the what? expo! Which reminds me, I'd better skedaddle back to the lab. If Edna catches me dawdling, there'll be heck to pay! Catch you around, Crockett! October 12th! Davey Crockett. Run! Why is the camera trying to crawl up his, his back? Very close shot, I must say. Come to think of it, it is a bit brisk for August. Oh, we're two months late! The expo's about to start and Teenage U is already in over his head with Edna. I always did have a tendency to plunge into things. Let's plunge into the DeLorean and get to the right date. No, it's far too risky. Remember how I was late picking you up in 86? Yeah. That should have been a tip-off. Something is horribly wrong with the time circuits, and the problem appears to be getting worse. If we try to jump now, we could find ourselves stranded in a Cenozoic age. Oh, or worse, the Mesozoic. Then we're stuck. For the time being, I'll look into the problem and see what I can do. In the meantime, you can go to work on the other problem. Right. I'll go to the lab and see if I can talk teenage you out of- Impossible. If young me is already as infatuated as you say, you're not going to be able to talk him out of anything. Believe me, I remember. Better to focus on the more clear-headed half of the couple. Edna? Where can I find her? Where do you think? <clears throat> I'll drive. The DeLorean should still function adequately as a means of conveyance in the first three dimensions. It's a good thing this isn't a really old game, or it'd be only two dimensions. But a Lame joke, I know, but... Shut up. And this is a strange expo. Okay. You were right. There she is. My soon-to-be ex-future wife is nothing if not predictable. Hmm. Do I really have to talk to her? I mean, couldn't I just hang out until you fix the time circuits and... Oh! I'll talk to her. <laughs> that was fine. Better get the DeLorean out of sight before someone. Hey, you! Me? Quit blocking the drive! All car of the future contestants need to report to the North Tent! Why not? Oh, because you'll be really close to Ed now. And I cannot see that turning out well. Call it my sixth sense. Hill Valley of the Past was a tent. Spell it. And so was the future. B R O W N. It's not exactly an obscure name. I still don't see it on the list. I'm sorry. Oh, for the love. Let me try this one more time. This is the Hill Valley Science Expo, right? First nope. annual. Indeed. The purpose of our fair is to showcase cutting edge technology. 